told you this one thing has completely transformed the way I think about sound design and synthesis. Not only that, what if this one thing you could apply on not just one hardware synth, but across multiple different synthesizers? This one thing is the looping envelope. We first encountered looping envelopes in the Hydrosynth video, where I went over how to create a multi-looping envelope ambient drone that was not only organic, but it had a life of its own. Since then, I have perfected this technique and I'm here to share it with you again today. But it got me thinking, how could you do this on Vital? How could you do this on the DeepMind? How could you do this in Serum? Not only is it possible, but it creates these rich, organic, almost sentient experiences just by looping either the envelopes or the LFOs. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this again on the Hydrosynth, and then we're gonna dive into Vital, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in the software world. You're gonna create these organic, ever-evolving soundscapes that really do have a life of their own. It's completely changed the game for me, and I'm here to show you it today. As always, before we start, make sure you smash that like button on the way in, subscribe to the channel if you guys feel called to do so, and let's get into some looping envelopes. All right, so here we are in front of Hydrosynth. Now, I wanna go over some very specific things uh, about this technique because it differs a little bit from what I was doing in the original Hydrosynth video, but I'm gonna do a bunch more of these. I feel like this is really powerful stuff. And if you can apply the same methodology to other synthesizers. We're gonna hop inside of Vital right after this, but if you can apply this methodology, the idea here is to create an organic, immersive, almost sentient experience. I've been watching Andy Offling and what he does with his pedal board. There's other guys like Richard Devine or Ian Body or who, I mean, there's so many other guys out there who are creating stuff with their modular rigs that is like, they can just walk away with it. They call it unattended, right? But you can do this inside of one single box or inside of one single program. And that's what I'm trying to convey here is the idea that looping envelopes can create immersive, sentient, organic experiences just by doing a couple simple things with the envelopes or the LFOs, all right? So here we go. We're gonna start by doing this with envelope two. Since envelope two is tied to the amp, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the BPM sync on, the hold all the way at max, okay? And then we're going to turn the reset the free run and the envelope loop all the way on, okay? This is very important because what's gonna happen now, if I hit a key, because envelope two is tied to the amp, all right, if I hit a key, it's just gonna go on forever like this. That's it, a key is a key, it's going on forever, it's not gonna stop until I turn it down in the mixer. Cool, so now I've turned it down in the mixer. So what we're gonna do is come over to the mod matrix, all right, and we're gonna say, let's take envelope three, which is our first free envelope, and we're going to assign it to the mixer. All right, just like we did before. And now we've given it, I don't know, like somewhere around 90, all right? So now we're gonna come over here and go to envelope three, and we're going to turn the BBM sync on, turn the sustain off, the decay around like an eighth, all right? Give it like an eighth or so. And then uh, we're gonna add some release, okay? So here's where it gets interesting. What I realized was we do not want these envelopes to reset. We want them to free run and loop, but not reset. Because if they reset, it gets all super glitchy and you don't want that. What you want is just an envelope that's going to do exactly what you want it to do without resetting. So now we come back over to the mod matrix and we've assigned this. So we'll let, let's key in some, some notes here. That's what you want at the beginning, all right? It sounds crazy, hang with me for a second. I'm gonna come over here and shift and the arpeggiator and turn down Hydra's tempo. Okay? Now let's come back over to the mod matrix and let's, fit, let's finish assigning all of these envelopes. Envelope four, tie it to oscillator three's volume. Envelope five, tie it to the mixer and oscillator there. All right, for my own sanity, I'm gonna turn down the filter, okay? Now here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take LFO5, a free LFO. We're gonna set it to random, AKA sample and hold, BPM sync on. We're gonna turn it to like, I don't know, like a whole note, okay? And we're gonna say in the mod matrix now, we want 
LFO5 to control envelope 3's decay. Watch what happens when I do this. You can hear it start to get more slowed and chilled out, right? Oh! Right, a little glitchy. It, sometimes it goes slow, sometimes it goes fast. That's exactly what you want because now you're creating something that is unpredictable and organic. Perfect. So let's do that again, LFO5, with envelope 4's decay. So, and we'll do it one more time, LFO5, with envelope 5's decay. Perfect. And we'll come over here and we'll finish designing the rest of the uh, envelopes. So let's turn BPM sync on. This is envelope four. Sustain all the way down, decay somewhere, release somewhere. Free run on, envelope bloom on, reset off. Envelope five, same thing. Sustain off, BPM sync on, decay, release. Free run, envelope bloom. We good, all right? There's your setup. Dope. So now, we haven't even adjusted the oscillator shapes. We haven't adjusted any of the, the stuff. All right, let's just go over to the mixer and talk about this. We can adjust the panning on page two of the mixer. So I'm gonna set oscillator one all the way left, oscillator two all the way right, okay? Maybe not all the way, but somewhere, all right? We can also adjust the filtering right underneath that. You see it has a ratio, 100 to zero. So we're gonna say oscillator two and three are now free, but here's you don't hear anything yet. Why? Because on page three, you have to change the filter routing from series to parallel. Okay? Now we're free, all right? Filter two, I can come over here and say morph and make that a high pass. Filter one. Filter two. We're gonna give it a life of its own. We're also gonna chill out envelope four. And slow this down a little bit, all right? Nice, okay. So now we have something a little more like manageable. Let's turn on the oscillator volumes here. Okay. So now we're in control. So let's adjust. If envelope three is our super slow chilled out one. Now what we can say is, what if I adjusted the attack as well as the decay to make envelope three control a slow, swelling envelope to create a really ambient, organic effect. So check it out. Let's do this. We're gonna take the attack and slow it up. Every time that triggers, it's like long and slow. And now we can take a free LFO, LFO4, and say, all right, you now control the attack of envelope three. So now we have all kinds of swimming going on. Like it's all kinds of crazy. You can lower the volume even more. So that's sort of like an undertone. You can lower it down an octave. Let's change the mode to wave scan and start editing this. Now we're really gonna get into some oscillator shapes, so we'll hit shift. Bring in some waveforms. Choose some different ones. Maybe make a basic wave shape here. I'm into this. Triangle, tri-saw, pulse, horizon again. All right, now let's also say that LFO4 can also control, actually no, let's do LFO3. LFO3 is going to control oscillator one's wave scan. 
and you hear it starting to move. So let's adjust. Let's make Elevo 3 random. We'll make it really slow. You can hear where I'm going with this. This is alive. You can add notes on the fly. And because we've set up all the envelopes, there's no possible way that it's gonna break through without it being affected by what's already happening inside the synthesizer. It's genius, I love this. Okay, so now we can say, all right, cool. Let's give it some delay. Oh yeah. And let's just stick with inside the box here. We'll go reverb, room, and give it some, some verb. Adjust the filter. Adjust this filter. Some res. You can also make this a high pass if you wanted. That's kind of wild. Maybe a little too much. We can adjust the uh, filter ratio here. I'm, I'm loving this. All right. This is organic. This is alive. This is Hydrosynth. You can add effects here. You can adjust the effects. We can say LFO, I don't know. Let's say LFO 5. Let's do LFO 3 again. Can adjust oscillate in the mixer. Let's do panning. Oscillator 2's pan. So that's starting to swim around. We're starting to move sound back and forth. Let's take this one down even further. Actually, instead of doing that, let's take this one down even further. There. Yes. Oh yeah. I love that. Yes. You guys see? Hydrosynth. But it's the idea and the methodology behind it. That's what's important. And that what is that's what's got me so excited. And that's what's so life-changing about this. <laughs> I say life-changing, but you know what I mean. Like, it's a completely different mindset. And this is just with some delay and reverb. This isn't with any other effects we haven't even put into the pedal board over there but i'm just showing you guys how to set it up now let's pop over to vital and we'll do the same thing so hopefully you guys got something out of this let's hop over to the daw and we'll do this inside of vital So here we are back inside of Ableton Live. And now, like I said, it's not gonna happen with the envelopes. It's gonna happen with the LFOs, all right? So what I wanna do is, the first thing, I'm going to make a similar shape to what I had on the Hydra, all right? Just kind of a, a nice down ramp, yeah? So we're gonna use this LFO to control the level of oscillator one, all right? And so what I'm gonna do is just come over here and just drag this over. And what we wanna affect is the time value. Okay, so what we're gonna use is the random sample and hold function here. And we can put this on any, 
you know, frequency we want. But what we're gonna do is just tie this to that. Now, when I hit a key, you can hear it does the same thing that it did in the hydrosynth. All right? But check this out. Here's where the mod remap comes in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make a, make a single bar loop here, okay? So we're just gonna draw this in. Very simple. One bar, draw it in, and hit play. So now we have like a sustaining note, okay? But notice how that's a little too glitchy for our taste. Like we don't want it that much, okay? But what we do want is we want some of that time value to stick in there. So we're gonna go to the, the, the matrix and then we're gonna adjust the mod remap. Remember, mod remap, I said this in an earlier video, mod remap is basically telling Vital how much of that one thing do you want Vital to do? So it's zero, think of it as zero to 10. Do you want it to go all the way to 10 or do you want it to go to like five? And if you do want it to go to like five, that's cool. Vital can do that, all right? So we want it kind of glitchy. You can rent, you can change the shape here. You can get all kinds of crazy with it because this is what you're seeing on the bottom here is the sample and hold function randomly placing itself in Vital's mod remap position. Does that make any sense? Like you're just like, you're randomly sampling it. That's what sample and hold is. It's a randomized algorithm. So we've sort of created that now. Now we got something going. Now it's like the same thing, but we're using, now you can either put this in trigger or sync. I found it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna leave it in trigger. Okay. Or sync. I guess it doesn't matter because we're just have one long sustaining envelope, all right? So now let's do this a second time. So let's make another LFO, similar style ramp, and we will tie it to oscillator two, okay? And now we're gonna take the random number two, sample and hold, and we'll make it a little slower, and we'll tie it to the time value of this, but we're gonna come up back over to the matrix and lower down the mod remap to make it something a little more ambient-like, okay? We're also gonna take this up and make it You see, now we have two different pitches. <laughs> and they're randomly triggering at different times, <laughs> all right? You can also tie um, one of those to the filter, which is kind of cool, check this out. So you can go like this and say, all right, just Right? And maybe that's too long. Maybe you want it a little bit longer. So just come over here and say. Change the frequency to be the starting value of one. It could be longer than that. It could be four. You see, now, now it's like, okay, now you're adjusting the time value of all these things. You can also say, all right, well, do that for the same thing. Tie it. You can adjust the stereo width. That's wild. Now we're doing this in stereo. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? All right, now let's get another one. Let's do this a third time, okay? And we're gonna say LFO. And we're gonna make this. We're gonna make that like the, the perfect sus. All right? That stereo is pretty wild, isn't it? <laughs> All of a sudden you guys are like, whoa. All right, so let's do this. Uh, we'll take random uh, three, sample and hold, lower the frequency down, set this time value. But we'll make this really slow. Okay. So every once in a while, this hits. There we go. And just, you can lower the volume here. It doesn't have to be fully going to max. Now we haven't even adjusted the oscillator shapes yet. I'm not quite sold on this. Uh... I'm gonna take off the stereo. It's too much for me, guys. <laughs> we'll do that in the ping pong, we'll do that after. So now I'm gonna come over here and say user, I don't know, 
we'll do like an anomaly shape and we'll take the last random um, free algorithm and we'll make it bipolar. Okay. Now we have a morphing, ever evolving LFO here. We'll make it a lot slower. Oh my God. And then we'll make this, maybe we'll make that just a sine wave. Okay. And we'll make this, I don't know. Um, let's do one more. That's nice. Let's go basic shapes. Let's go basic shapes. So we can just get it like a triangle or something. Square. Square's cool. All right. Nice. There you go. All right. Now, let's take this result and we'll put it through the pedal board. Shall we? So we'll come over here and we'll take an audio effect rack and we'll uh, add two chains. Create a chain for the dry, create a chain for the wet, and we'll bring the external audio effect in here and we will set it up. Okay. Let's say hello to the big sky. Hello, big sky. Now, with this crazy LFO, let's adjust the attack. <laughs> you see? There you go, there you go. Maybe put some unison on there. The sky's the limit, guys. You literally can do anything you want. Let's say hello to the microcosm. Mood wants in too. Oh my God. You guys hear the subtleties in that? Let's turn off the volume. It's another level, guys. <laughs> yes, it's another level. That's what I'm talking about. Taking this idea and applying it on any synthesizer you guys can think about, whatever you got, and then just letting it all happen. Letting it just go, letting yourself go. Think of the possibilities, infinite. This is what it's all about, guys. Ambient music. Using the tools that you have available. A true soul's calling into this kind of music. Thank you guys so much for watching. And it's been my pleasure to guide you here today. I hope you like this video. If you have any thoughts about looping envelopes, LFOs, please leave them in the comments down below. Wow. My name is Chris. You've been watching Signs of Life. I'll be back again with more tutorials very soon, more live streams. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, keep your heads in the clouds and your feet planted firmly on the ground. I'll see you guys in the next one.